Yo, what's up everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create some really cool graphic designs in Final Cut Pro 10. And before I continue the video, I want to give a couple disclaimers. First of all, I'm not a professional um, graphic designer, so I don't know all the ins and outs and um, rules of graphic design. So if you're a professional graphic designer, you're probably going to you know, critique this video a lot. I'm in no way trying to, you know, pose as a professional designer. This is just me having fun and trying out a couple different designs I've kind of seen and kind of are inspired by and kind of recreating and putting um, my own spin and my own twist on it. And before I get any comments, yes, I'm aware photo Photoshop does exist. However, I kind of want to take this, this challenge on trying to do all these graphic designs in Final Cut. And if you didn't know, Final Cut Pro 10 is primarily a video editing program. So for me, I kind of want to take on this challenge and see if I can create some really cool graphic designs um, in, in Final Cut Pro 10. So at the end of the day, this is just me having fun, trying out a whole bunch of different styles. I'm not trying to pose as a professional graphic designer. This is just me having a little bit of fun. So I'm gonna head over to the example right here. I just kind of go over some basic concepts and ideas. This this part is more for people who aren't very familiar with Final Cut. If you're you're very familiar with Final Cut, then you could obviously you know just see the intro and see if any of those ideas inspire you. But this part is more for people that don't know don't understand the basics of Final Cut and you don't don't know how to cut out layers, don't know how to cut out people. Um, this is just more kind of like a basic. I want to give you like a basic idea of how to do this. So I'm gonna go over first is importing the background. Now this background could obviously be anything you want now this background isn't from Final Cut it's from Canva I already made a video on it called the 3d photo effect where I showed you how to kind of create these really cool backgrounds um, in Canva so definitely go ahead and check it out and yeah I know Canva is the most professional graphic designer um, uh, program but it's really cool to just find some basic templates and some basic backgrounds obviously you can customize them you know if you want now, the next thing you want to do is you want to place all your photos so you can see right here is the first photo um, right here so there's the first photo right here here's the second photo right here and then here's the third photo obviously you know have as many photos um, as you want right there now a couple of things that I've learned in my brief experience this is my first time ever attempting to you know create some graphic designs is I found that um, photos with people looking in opposite directions or facing opposite directions look a lot better than if it, for example if, if all three of these photos are just Tyreek Hill looking at the camera it, it would look okay but I find that when they're looking in, or looking or facing in opposite directions um, it makes it look a lot nicer and you kind of create this really cool kind of um, stacking effect so I'm gonna head over here if you're not aware what the tool is called it's called the draw mask so head over here I think maybe in, in Photoshop it's called like the pen tool or, or Premiere I'm not sure but in Final Cut it's called the draw mask so that's how you cut out a subject um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a incredibly rough job just to get the idea now this could also also be a um, style I made this in my 20 um, plus editing effects videos I use kind of style where I didn't actually cut out the subject I kind of create this really cool white outline effect so if this is the kind of look you want to go for by all means go for that now obviously in the intro I put a lot more time and effort into the mask so there we go there is the first mask um, right there so I'll go ahead and just disable it right here head over here go to this one right here I'll just apply a draw mask right here kind of just go quick um, just to kind of give you a basic understanding this part is more just for people who are people uh, beginners who don't you know do you, you don't know the basic tools of Final Cut or you just you know a very basic beginner in editing and you don't know and you don't know how to like stack layers and adjust the position this is more the kind of focuses I thought about just making the video just primarily going over the different designs but I thought it'd be cool to kind of go over um, I just had to actually create um, the basics right here. Do I decide to do three? Probably in retrospect, I probably just should have stuck to like one or two. But I just want to kind of give you a basic idea and kind of show you the behind the scenes. You know how much work uh, you know actually goes into this. And obviously, you know, I would say masking probably takes a good 15, 20 minutes to really go through um, and mask right here. So you can see there we go. Now I just uh, masked out Tyree Kill. Now a couple of things to um, keep in mind in terms of masking. So I'm gonna go ahead and just re-enable all these clips um, right here. If I go ahead and zoom in right here, this is a tip that I was not aware of, or a couple tips I was not aware of. If I click on this right here, go to the draw mask right here, I can actually select one of these points, right click, well first of all, you could actually go ahead and add a point right here, 
or so you right click add a point right here or you can actually select the point right click the point and click on smooth so you can actually now create a smooth um, line right there you can obviously you know, click and drag but I find actually just creating the rough mass and then going through and then smoothing out the edges um, that I want obviously you know you can adjust the feather you can adjust the fall off opacity and um, invert the mask right here now I'll go ahead over here no maybe you're asking right here I'll go ahead and just disable these clips right here if you ask me here okay well, how do I get rid of this part right here well I found that adding multiple masks onto a clip doesn't work so what you want to do is you want to click on option G right here we'll just name this um, test anytime you're adding another draw mask onto a clip I always find creating a compound clip is good because if you add two, if you add two draw masks on one clip Final Cut Pro 10 starts to lag so if I cut it right here so as you can see right there boom now I'll just invert the mask right there as you can see there we go I cut it out obviously you know you want to do a better job um, if it's like a real if it's like a real, like a real um, photo and you're, you're actually like working for a client or something but there you go right there that's what it looks like right there here there are all the photos and then obviously you know you want to adjust the mass and fix the mess as I showed before there's a couple of different things um, you can do right there and that's pretty much it right there so we'll go ahead I'll just kind of you know, um, decrease the scale a little bit so kind of just move the scale right here move the X right here and then I'll just kind of move it over right here take this photo right here adjust the scale right here move the x-axis over here and then move it down now you ask yourself what is there is you know a better way um, to you know move the uh, move the person around well, if I go ahead and click on right here this transform button I can then move this subject around right here but I find as you can see it was a little laggy I find that just using these tools these position tools I find works a lot better so there you go there's kind of you know a rough idea obviously you can go through it and make it you know refine it adjust the scale right here adjust the position right here and there you go there's just kind of like you know a rough cut um, right there so that's what it looks like right here you can adjust it um, so on and so forth but that's basically you know like the the rough cut right here now another thing you can do too is I'm gonna go ahead and click on control T to create a text layer and then go to the end right here click on the text and then click on to look at the text right here option right bracket right here and then I'll just type in anything right here so I'll just go like this um, Ty Reek um, Hill right here go ahead and change the font I'll scroll up until I find Futura that's what I personally like the best and then I like either bold or condensed bold so I'll go bold right here and I'll just increase the text right here I'll go ahead and just create just a couple layers right here uh, so take the layer right here then go to the y-axis right here drag it up right here I've already made multiple videos on the text repeater effect so I'll go ahead and just drag it up um, I'm holding down option to create a copy scroll all the way down as you can see there we go there is the text right there it's just like a basic idea take the um, text right here I'll just kind of drag it um, right here now what I want to do is I'm going to take the text I could create a compound clip but I'm just going to take the text and drag it underneath right there and there you go you have like this really cool um, text repeater um, effect right there so that's you know one way you can do it um, right there so I'm just going to you know, one example and I'm going to head over to backgrounds right here and this is where I have a logo the Chiefs logo I'll put it maybe you know above the text right here so I'll go ahead put it above the text right there it all depends on where you want it so as you see right here I'll put it um, underneath the photo and above the text and I'll just you know adjust the logo um, right there you know obviously this is just you know, a basic test of it and there you go there's a you know a rough example of what it looks like obviously you know you want to put a lot more time and effort into it but this part is more just for, you know for beginners and showing what you can do so you just create text stack layers and you literally just adjust the mass and so on and so forth and you just keep practicing and doing this until you um, get a look that you want now if you're wondering how do I create a compound clip um, select all your clips right here so I'll go ahead and click on option G I'll go ahead and click or just type an example right here there is your compound clip um, right there so that's what it looks like right there and then I'll wait for Final Cut Pro 10 to render now if you're wondering how do I uncompound the compound clip click in the clip um, shift command G and there you go you have uncompounded the compound clip right there so there you go it's simple as that and obviously you, know, you want Final Cut to render my computer is kind of like a mid-range computer it's not the fastest but it's also not you know not a slow computer um, too
Now, if you're wondering, okay, how in the world do I export this? Do I have to export this as a video? I don't want to export it as a video. I want to export it as a photo. Well, what you could do right here is go to right here, go to the example right here. Make sure you click on the project um, right here. Now, all you want to do is head over here to this export icon um, right here. Click on this export icon right here. So export icon right here. Click scroll down right here. Save current frame. So you can see right there, save current export, save current frame right here so click on it right here and as you can see right here now it's a still frame as you can see right here here's the settings and then export JPEG image um, PNG you can export it These, those are all of your different um, files right there that's what you can export it as and that's it right there so all you can see right here there you go save current frame if you don't have it go to click add destination and then save current frame um, right there but that's how you export a still frame in final cut now before i end the video i want to go over right here to all the different designs right here and i kind of will give you a basic idea of how i create these designs so as you can see here are all the different designs right here here is the de here's the design right here it's just a whole bunch of different collage um right here so that's you know design um, number one here is design number two right here So it kind of creates this like kind of promo right there for like a sporting event right here So you have that design right there. You have this design um, Right here. So you have the texture up here Tyree kill and this uh, logo right here You have this which is kind of cool like a stat line effect right there then you have um, This design right here and then I'll head over to the last design um, right here and obviously you know what happened in the intro so if you want to see a full screen you can go ahead and go back to the intro and you know pause on the design that you want to learn right there so you can see right there I'll go ahead and maybe open up right here so you can see right here here is the design right here so here's here's the first design right here this really cool kind of collage effect here is the next design um, right here let's go over to the next one right there there is the next design right there and then so you can see there's just a whole bunch of really cool designs you have kind of a stat line effect um, right there you have this really cool kind of like highlight promo or this player highlight and then you have this which I personally think is my favorite um, and there you go that's pretty much it right there there are all of the different um, designs right here so I'll go ahead and just play it right here again here are all the whole bunch of different designs this is just me kind of just messing around and playing with a whole bunch of different designs again like i said before i know photoshop exists i'm not a professional graphic designer but this is just me kind of having fun and more importantly this is just me sh um, trying to see what final cut could actually do could you actually create some graphic designs in final cut i think the answer is yes obviously you know, it's not as professional as photoshop but maybe if you're kind of that intermediate mid-level ranged um you know creator then you could definitely create some really cool designs and you don't have to pay for photoshop everything so you can edit your videos in final cut and you can actually just create thumbnails and create graphics in final cut which i think is really cool and that you know it's a personal opinion but this is just you know me having fun like i said before just experimenting and trying to see what final cut can actually do again if you want to export a still frame go up here export right here save current frame right here so save current frame right there and then of course uh, rename it you can change the export files right there and that's how you actually save a current frame I actually as you can see right here thumbnails right here I literally create all my thumbnails in Final Cut um, Pro 10 just because I think it may, um, it's a lot easier and that's pretty much it and it was hopefully enjoy this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you new to this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you enjoy these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button also Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over two 240 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.